smart students and welcome to another English virtual class. Our topic is healthy food and today we are going to practice English silent letters, learn new words to speak about food, read the text and complete a reading comprehension exercise and practice using some any no. When you need to talk about likes in English, you may use the sign like, but sometimes we may use I really like, I love, I adore, is my favorite, I'm crazy about, I'm fond of, for example, I really like summer, or English is my favorite subject. I'm crazy about oranges. And when you don't like something, you may use again the sign mm -mm, or in English we have such expressions. I don't like, I dislike, I hate, I can't stand, I'm not a huge fan of. All right. The letter combination EA in English is pronounced in different, in different ways. So let's have a look on the screen and pronounce correctly. So the letter combination EA is sometimes pronounced E, death, bread, breakfast, meadow. Sometimes it is pronounced E, speak, clean, seed, leave. It may be pronounced A, break, great, or ear, idea, real, dear, appear. Let's practice a little bit these sounds. The breaks at school are great fun. Do you have bread for breakfast? I have no idea about it, my dear. She leaned back in her seat. What is food? Food means some fruits and vegetables or drinks or other food. Today we will remind some words that you have already learned and we will learn some new ones. So remember some names of fruits in English. Oranges pineapple, cherries, grapes, apples, strawberries, pears, watermelon, quinces, bananas. All right. Let's remind some names of vegetables. These are carrots, onions, peppers, tomatoes, eggplant, cucumbers, garlic, potatoes, beet, cabbage. What about other food? Do you remember about bacon or ham? I'm sure you like chicken, fish, sausages, bread, butter, cheese, eggs, yogurt, all right? And besides all these, of course, we need some drinks. What do we usually drink? Water, soft drink, milk, tea, coffee, 
juice. Before reading the text, let's study some new words. Try to remember them and use whenever you need. So the first one is plenty of. Plenty of. It means enough or more than enough or a large amount. For example, there are plenty of fruits in the basket. Next, chipped. Chipped means broken into pieces. For example, the plate is full of chipped potatoes. Invent. Invent. Create something that has never been made before. Who invented the internet? Explorer. Explorer. A person who travels to places where no one has ever been to learn about them. He wants to become a great explorer. What is this? Do you recognize? It's a recipe. A recipe. A set of instructions telling you how to prepare and cook food. His mother knows an amazing recipe of pasta. Next one, cream. Cream. The thick yellowish white liquid that forms on the top of the milk. Do you like cream in your soup? Although, although, despite the fact that, but, they decide to go, although it was raining outside. Now let's match the words to their definition in order to remember them better. So what is the definition for the word explorer? All right. It's a person who travels to learn about places. Invent. You are right. It means to create something new. Recipe. Recipe is a set of instruction to cook food. Chipped. Chipped. Broken into pieces. And plenty of means a large amount. Good job. Now let's read the text and find out interesting information. Then be ready to complete the tasks. Burgers. Burgers are the world's most popular fast food. You can buy a burger in almost every country in the world. Burgers are not very good for you, so if you like them, eat plenty of fruit and vegetables too. Chips or chipped potatoes are also known as French fries. But they are not French. They were invented in Belgium about a hundred years ago. Although potatoes are vegetables, they are not much, there is not much vitamin C in them, so you need other vegetables too. Ice cream was invented by the Italians. Or was it? Some people think that the Italian explorer Marco Polo got the recipe from China in 1295. There is a very little ice cream in ice cream nowadays. A typical modern ice cream is less than 1% cream. But it tastes good, doesn't it? Pizza was invented in Italy. Well, that's only half true. The Italians first put tomatoes on a pizza base 400 years ago. Modern pizzas had cheese too. That idea came from Italians living in America in about 1800s. Pizza is not as bad as some fast food, but most pizzas have too much salt and that is bad for your health. Alright, I'm sure you understood the text, the text and you are ready now to choose the best answer. So burgers are not bad for you if eat them daily. Eat lots of fruits and vegetables or like them. You are right if you eat lots of fruits and vegetables. Do not contain much, much vitamin C. Vegetables or chips or Belgian potatoes. 
It's about chips. Made the first ice cream. Who made it? Marco Polo? Or we don't know who? Or a Chinese explorer? Of course it was Marco Polo. Ice cream today is not really tasty or cold or creamy. You are right, it's not creamy. It contains almost 1% of cream. Next sentence. The first pizzas had tomatoes, had cheese, were not Italians. That's right, they had cheese. The first modern pizzas were made in America or 400 years ago or with potatoes. The answer is 400 years ago. All right, time for grammar. Let's see how can we use some and any in English. We also need to know how to use no in some sentences. So we use some and any plus plural countable nouns or uncountable nouns. Pay attention to the table on the screen. So we use some in affirmative sentences. There are some cars on the road. In interrogative sentences we need any. Are there any cars on the road? In negative sentences we may use both no or not any. So you choose. For example, there are no cars on the road. Pay attention that the verb is positive. There are no cars on the road. Or the verb is negative and then we use any. There are not any cars on the road. Have a look. There is some cheese in the fridge. It's an uncountable noun and we may use some. Is there any cheese in the fridge? Why have I used any in this sentence? Just because the sentence is interrogative. There isn't any cheese in the fridge. We have a negative sentence. The verb is negative. That's why we use any. And another variant of negative sentence is there is no cheese in the fridge. When we have the positive verb and we use no for the noun. Let's practice a little bit. Use some or any in the following sentences. Pay attention to the signs that we have at the end of the sentence. It means that the sentence is negative or affirmative or interrogative. The first sentence. There is some butter on the bread. They can't speak any foreign languages. He made some mistakes. Is there any milk in the glass? And the last positive sentence, we bought some pens and pencils. Make the sentences interrogative and here pay attention to the words that you have to use. Instead of some, of course, we will use any. She has some friends. The question, does she have any friends? There is some money in the pocket. Is there any money in the pocket? There are some problems. Are there any problems? They have some new toys. Do they have any new toys? Alright, so this is the end of the lesson. Goodbye.